I know, probably on your slave life tour, right? It came up, let's see, what always comes up. Was George Washington a good master? Mm -hmm. You know, why, I don't even know why we have to talk about that, right? The young slaves. How, how do you put good with that, right? That's just a funny... <laughs> but I think then the challenge, right, is how do we take that and expand the story? Expand it out. You know, we're starting with that idea, yes, there are slaves here. Fact, right? There's either 316 or 317, depending upon the way you count um, the census. So I'm always a little bit fuzzy about that. But there's, you know, over 300 enslaved folks here. Now, you guys were looking at two bunk rooms, right? And shaving would indicate right. So, so right. And the children, you know, if you think about it, also. Or what did yeah, you guys observe about work or free time from looking at the stuff in those quarters? Um, well, I guess one thing we said that some of the um, things that they might have been doing that were part of work could be used also for leisure, like um, knitting or sewing, um, you know, cooking food. Um, we did see some other um, activities related to children in women's quarters, like um, marbles, and uh, we saw, we noticed that there's a doll. Maybe a lot of leisure activities cross over, right, from, you know, stuff you're doing maybe for fun or for relaxing and stuff you're doing for work. And we noted also that uh, what they did for work, they also had to do for their home, as you could call it. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. What they did for work, they also had to, they had to do laundry at the mansion, laundry for themselves, cooking at the mansion, cooking for themselves. So some of the, like she said, some of those kind of crept over into leisure, not really leisure. And that's not really that leisure, leisure, right? Where's group two? Oh, right here. Okay, what, did, what themes did you guys have? Um, food. In the, right. Water and stuff is in the bay did it surprise you guys about the variety of food that there was? Yes, yeah, I, I was. Guess I was surprised. That's one of the well, things you when see I could see the variety that was in the sacks. Okay. You can We're assume there was grains, the grain. right? Flowers and mm -hmm. flowers. And was like that. was what was in the sack for them, or was that for elsewhere? Okay. Right. Oh, good question. Were, it said GW on yep. the bands, And Because you asked us to try to differentiate foods that were rations and foods that were theirs, we assumed that those were rationed out foods from GW. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Good. Is that right? I think that's what they're supposed to be, right. yes. So and they are rationed out foods, and they are rationed out cornmeal. So all those sacks, you know, are only cornmeal. Oh, and, okay. and in the um, women's quarters, there seemed to be much more cooking going on. You know, you <laughs> see the cornbread <laughs> made, you see some stews. Okay. And the men, you see a rabbit. See a yeah, I always notice that when I go in. The man has the rabbit, and the women are doing the cooking. So is he going down with his rabbit and saying, you know, what that might be? Here, hey, I've got a rabbit. You know, oh, you know, I'm sweet on you. Would you like to cook it up for me? Or, or I cut the rabbit, you cook it. Let's eat it together. <laughs> right, because I'd like to spend time with you. Or, or. You know, I'm in charge of cook. I'm in charge of hunting, and you're in charge of cooking, and that's just the way that we have negotiated our spaces up here because we've got to get along. So, and you can just pull it apart in lots of different ways and begin to really think about, you know, individuals and what we know about them and where they're living, and then begin to concoct, you know, bits and pieces of their lives. 